Hi, welcome to my C lecture. My name is Chi Wang. It's my pleasure to introduce the k nearest neighbor's density estimations to you. For, to learn more about C lectures, please visit www.projectrhea.organization. OK, here we begin. The k nearest neighbors is a supervised algorithm which basically counts the k nearest features to, de to determine the class of a sample. The classifier is a non parametric one and do not use any model to fit. Given a set of points, Kn counts the k nearest neighbors and decide on the class which takes the ma majority of votes. It is a simple and efficient algorithm that only calculates the distance of a new sample to the nearest neighbors. As a category based on majority votes of k nearest neighbors, the distance can be chosen as Euclidean di distance. Okay, let me show you a simple example. If you want to classify this blue point to red or blue based on the data we have, what should we do by using KNN? First, let's set K to be 3. Then we can draw a small circle like this. And inside of this circle, we, can, we have one blue point and two red points. So uh, according to the KNN approach, this green point should be classified as red. Then if we enlarge the K to be 5, then we have this larger circle like this, where in this circle, Circle we have three blue points, while the number of the red points stays at two. Then the green point should be classified to be blue. Okay, so this is basically how KN works. And the general formula for the density estimation is like this: the row of x is equal to k, which is the predetermined parameter over n times v. The v here is the volume of some neighbor around the x, and, and k denotes the number of observations in the neighborhood. Okay. Then consider the neighborhood around x sub 0 as a sphere. Then the volume can be calculated like this. While the x sub k is the case point nearest to x sub 0, and we can uh, calculate it the h sub k like this. This is a L2 norm, which is the Euclidean distance. This is the most common situation we use. I will talk more about it later. So the volume of x sub 0 can be calculated like this. Also, this is a gamma function. The definition of the gamma function is that gamma of n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So then the density can be estimated by this. And the f here is the number of points on the boundary of the circle with radius h sub k. In the most times, the estimation is is this guy because the number of points of the boundary of the circle, which is s, converge to 1 very quickly with probability 1. OK, then we come to our main theorem of this selector. The expectation of this density estimation at x sub 0 is the true value, is the true density of x sub 0. So before we start, we have to make some assumptions. Suppose that mu is a small band along the boundary and mu can be calculated like this. Also, let g be the event that k-1 samples fall inside r and let h be the event that one sample falls inside the small band along the boundary. So the joint probability of g and h can be calculated like this, while the probability of g is like this, and the conditional probability of h given g is like this. We multiply them together, and we get the joint probability of g and h like this. Also, as delta mu approaches to 0, the 1 minus delta mu over 1 minus mu approaches to 1 very quickly. So we get this nicer form of the probability of the joint probability g and h like this. OK. And note that the volume of 
of the neighbors around x sub 0 can be calculated like this. And so we plug in this into the calculation of the of the estimation of the density function of x sub 0, and we get, get this. Uh, so this is constant, and, and we get it out of the calculation of the expectation. So it is essentially the expectation is calculate the integral of the 1 over mu, and rho here is just as we calculated uh, above. So we just plug in the plug in this guy, and we get this. Note that this is a gamma f function, and it cancels out with this one. Then, here we go, we get exactly what we want. Okay. As you can see from, from the ca calculation, uh, the calculation of the volume plays a major role of the Kn density estimation. So, in the next few, few, in the next few slides, I'll talk more about the how to calculate distance. I'll start by the definition of the metric. A metric on the, on the surface S is a function which projects S multiple S to a real set, real number set. And this function satisfies these following properties, that is non-negativity, symmetry, reflexivity, and triangle inequality. Once a function meets those three properties, it can be called a metric. Then, based on the definition of the metric, we can define all kinds of distance. Here is some example of distance that is widely used. The first one is the most familiar one, Euclidean distance. It is essentially a L2 norm between two points. And, and, and also we have Manhattan di di distance, which, which is essentially the L1 norm of two points, and the Minkowski distance, which is, I think, the LPP norm of two, two points, and the Re Riemann distance, which we have this B capital M over here, which is a symmetric ma matrix, it should be positive definite. Then you, you, you can check by, by yourself. This, this function satisfied those four properties of a metric. So this can be called a distance. Also, we have the infinite norm, which is, the, which is the, the, this guy. It is very commonly used in some statistical model selection problem. Okay? That's all I want to talk about, about to the, talk about KNN. Thank you very much for your attention. For more C lectures, please visit www.projectihen.organization.